whoa, pause. Some of y'all probably wondering why the f this video is going on right now, but I'm sure you've noticed. The Elite Dungeon, the second one, it's here. It is here. They gave the preview and the maintenance, it came, and now the dungeon's here. So without further ado, let's get into business. guys just saw my ass get murdered but that's not important right now that just gives you insight to how dangerous this dungeon really is so now that you know that let's move on um where to start where to start where to start well this dungeon is the same as the other dungeon all it, all it really is is just uh taking a map and making it harder that's really all there is to it the only real main difference would have to be the levels. The monsters in here are levels 85 to 90. It's pretty high. The fact that they made this means that they actually care for us. Kind of. Maybe a little bit. Knowing Flo though, man, I'm not, I'm not too sure about that. But what I mean by that is, you know, now we don't have to sit two hours in tower just to get, what, 4% of XP? I'm not about that life. I really ain't. Now, as you saw in the beginning, uh, to get into this dungeon, it's the same as the other dungeon. All you have to do is uh, go to the NPC, enter from there. Uh, the great thing about this dungeon, though, is that they actually have quests, which is good. High-level quests for high-level people. And, you know, considering the fact that quests stop at level 80, um, I feel like they're definitely going to add quests for the Fox Den, because if they didn't, it wouldn't really make any sense to have quests for one elite and then not for another. So they might actually add some of those later on down the line. I hope that happens though. Uh, I was talking to one of my friends from Brotherhood and uh, they handed me one of the quests, I think it was maybe about the 85 quests or something like that. And he said he what, got 9%, maybe 10% from that one quest. I was like, what? Cause I'm sure you guys already know, as soon as you hit level 64, all the quests they don't even give that much XP. It's like, what, maybe 2 or 3% per quest, which they really should have changed, just to let them know. But, you know, the fact that these quests actually give 9 to 10% per quest is just great. It's fantastic. But there's only one quest per level, which means there's only five quests. Um, I don't know if I really think that's cool or not, but, uh, you know, I mean, at least we have some quests, you know? But at the same time, we want some more quests, you know? Like, one quest per level is is horrible, but it's it's something. Now, the monsters levels, let me read what I got written down here. Uh, let's see. 
Got a secret mode level 85, one eye bat level 86, minor mode level 86, mad one eye bat 87, carrier mode 88, sound of death the boss 88, and supervisor mode at a whopping level 90. That's some crazy crap right there. But thank God to that because we now have bosses to fight. Before we didn't have any bosses, but I heard that an elite. Elite Lenore? Yeah, Lenore was put in. I'm checking the news right now. Yeah, yeah, it says Lenore was put in. So now in Elite Fox Den, we got that that boss, uh, Lenore, Lanire, however you want to pronounce it. Um, it's not going to be farmed as much as the real one, that's for sure. Whew, that thing's farmed all day long. I was actually kind of thinking about, you know, Boarhead Elite being made and, you know, put in. It's kind of weird though, the sound of that. Elite, Boarhead, Elite. Like, come on. <laughs> Sounds so stupid. But but yeah, um, if they really did make that, then they probably would have put in it in already. Uh, that's what I think. Because Lenore was just put in. So if Lenore was put in, then Elite, Boarhead, Elite would have been put in too. If they really wanted it in there. So, but you know, that's that's a whole different story. That's, that's Fox Den. <laughs> right now we in Cardiff Mines. Uh, the difficulties of these bosses, I don't know about Lenore, but listen, they're crazy. I have a friend, apparently he got killed by sound of death in four hits and he has over 30,000 HP. How does that happen? How? How do you get killed so easily when you have so much HP? It's just so, I don't, I don't even know how to explain it. Well. Listen, if you if you plan on taking on those bosses, make sure you have like a giant party of people because I'm sorry, it's not going to end well for you. It's not going to end well. You're going to end up dead on the floor crying to Jesus. I, listen, I, I, listen, I'm telling you, I'm warning you, I'm warning you, just don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. All right, don't do it to yourself. Just do it how my guild handling it. Just, you know, gang up and, and go up in there. That's all you got to do. And uh, you'll be fine. You won't get destroyed. I promise you. Unless your, your team sucks. That's a, that's a whole other story. Um, let's move on. Drops. Now, uh, in the news, in that preview, they did say that they were going to add level um, 81 and 89 stuff. Or 89 stuff to, uh, you know, this dungeon. We expected that. But they did say that it was going to be new 89 stuff. So it wasn't going to be anything similar to... It wasn't going to be the same as how it was before in Fox Den. Um, so this is what I have wrote down so far. I don't even know if I have the actual names. All I know is, is that, uh, there are new accessories and they are actually pretty, pretty amazing. We got, we got our uh, level 89 ring, level 89 necklace, level 89 earrings. Beautiful. You can just keep farming for that stuff. Get some good seals on that. Has some avoidance rate. I'm telling you, the dungeon be dro dropping some good stuff nowadays. Um, other than that, you can probably get lucky with mithril powders, uh, frags. I, I, I'm not too sure about uh, magic crystals because I haven't seen any drop yet from, from anyone. But that depends. But I'm being completely honest here. Uh, it honestly all depends on the situation because, you know, they said they were going to lower the magic crystal drop rate because they wanted to make the economy great again but i don't know it might not necessarily work because if you think about it the economy it was supposed to kind of like balance out because normally if the magic crystal drops in value um that means that they're worth less because they drop more that was the case but it wasn't the case anymore when they realized that the amount of money the currency gel it also increased in drop rate, so people were dropping millions of gel in this dungeon all the time. So, uh, it honestly, it was supposed to balance out instead of the magic crystal kind of skyrocketing in price and everything skyrocketing in price. But, you know, it didn't, it didn't happen because everybody wants to raise the magic crystal price because, oh, 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 it's so difficult to get. Honestly, it is difficult to get. But... That's no reason for them to raise the price. That's a whole nother story, of course. But that's kind of why I'm not 
too sure if the magic crystal will actually drop in this dungeon. Not completely sure. But getting back on track here, the mobs, the average difficulty of the mobs, I'd have to say they're like gods. <laughs> Almost. Because I'm I'm here a level 84 excavator. And um, you know, I'm fighting a level 86 bat as you saw earlier and I almost got my, my butt super wrecked and yeah I would have been dead and XP gone so in my opinion this dungeon is crazy ridiculously hard so whether you should go in or not um, that's completely up to you <laughs> your own risk right there uh, I would be fine if I had my old accounts but you know rest in peace BMG rest in peace but uh, you know, I don't anymore. I kind of started over, and I'm here with my uh, new account. And because of that, I have to level up in the Fox Den instead of this dungeon, because I'm not ready for this dungeon, clearly. I need help of my friends in order to actually survive. So keep that in mind when you guys actually enter this dungeon, because it's crazy difficult, and I'm not sure if you want to, you know, rage quit flow, but you probably will rage quit flow after a while. Um, especially if you die up in here. Losing mad XP. No, I'm gonna have that way. Make sure you go in with your friends and you'll be fine. Um, the XP. The XP. Um, I didn't touch up on that yet. But no, I did not. Uh, the XP from the mobs. I am not going to lie to you. It's pretty good. Uh, I think I was getting, what, 17k? 17,000 XP for one kill by myself. Which means if you split it with another friend, it's like, what, 9,000 almost? Yeah, if you, if you split it with another friend, that's pretty good right there. Like, you can survive with that XP. You can you can level up fairly quickly. Um, I was talking to my friend Luffy. Shout out to Luffy. Uh, he said that he was in a party with his uh, with his group, and they were in here farming some monsters, and he got what 10% XP. 10% XP in one hour. Yeah, that's what he said. 10% XP in one hour with farming with a group of people. Um, in my opinion, that's pretty freaking good compared to, to what you can be getting in Tower. Because Tower takes a while. Tower takes maybe an hour and a half to two hours just to get some 4%, some measly 4%. Man, who the f*** wants some 4%? No. Nobody wants that in two hours. No, not when you can be Luffy and get 20% in two hours. Nah. See, that that's what I like about this dungeon. It gives everyone the chance to get the level that they want to get without using Tower, which is perfect. You don't need no tower anymore. Tower can be now used for fun if you want to test out your your skills, you know? But, um, you know, now that the dungeon actually is here and exists, over the next couple of weeks, there's going to be a couple of, uh, a couple more 99s jumping on. And with that, I'll <laughs> trust me, there's going to be a hell of, hell of a lot of wars. A lot of 99s just nothing but war um what else did i miss oh yeah the skills i'll let you find out the skills of these mobs by yourself wait till you see who the skills that they have they're ridiculous well i saw a 70 percent decrease in speed 20 percent yeah but I'll, I'll leave that for you guys to find out um so yeah uh, i just wanted to thank you guys for listening to my what 14 15 minute rant uh, it was it was real. It's been real, and I hope you guys enjoy your uh, your visit to the dungeon. It's gonna be intense. Just a heads up and a warning. So, BMG out. See you guys on the game.